Hello, my name is Jason Moet, and thank you for clicking on the video. What it's going to be about, I really can't fully tell you right now, but there's going to be a lot. It's probably going to be loud at times. I'll try to control it a little bit, but I've got a lot of uh, in me, you know, right now. A lot of it. A lot of it. All right, let me finish the intro. It is Wednesday morning, zero, one, hundred hours exactly. It's June, fuck, I don't know, 20 something, 22nd. So that does, you know, time of day is what matters. And I just told you what it was. So it's really Wednesday morning. All right. And uh, things are not going very well for me lately, uh, the past handful of hours, let's say. I really don't want to get into all of the details. So I should probably not say any of them, right? Let me try to go around it. Um, hmm. But I don't understand people on a lot of levels, you know. Uh, don't want to either anymore, you know, not at all. Uh, it's all about understanding myself, okay? And that's what counts, all right? And case in point tonight, you know, uh, I had a little bit of a little, uh, Let's say nicely misunderstanding with the little woman tonight. She got home from her little trip. Let's say we didn't see something exactly uh, the same, okay? And uh, and then let's also very abstractly let's say horrible phone conversation. Uh, happens you have two parties on the phone conversation okay one energy is very uh, uh you know other one's energy is very rah, 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 okay just to start with all right so after misunderstanding he did misunderstanding. Two people react differently. The woman, in classic woman style, doesn't give a fuck. Cold, who cares, whatever. You know, I'm done with it already. Moved on already, it was light years away. To me, I'm what the fuck? Ah, ah, ah. And you're like, no, we're about to. Ah. basically look like a fucking idiot, you know? Uh, I hate it when I lose my temper like that. Um, anything really, you know? I, and fuck, I've been getting so good lately. You know, I haven't, I haven't lost it in a while. So when I do even a little bit, I get double mad because of losing it. You know, it's like, fuck, I gotta start over again on my street. Fucking people don't act right though, you know? That helps a lot <laughs> when they do. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm the psychomaniac super nut. Probably a little bit, but doesn't mean I'm wrong. But I don't give a shit about that being wrong. You know, I just want to get along. I want to get along in my little relationship and be happy. And I get along and everything. I don't want fucking friction. I don't want fucking bullshit. I don't want fucking any fucking unnecessary speed bumps in my way. Don't like to fuck around, and I don't like to, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, okay. I don't like to, uh, what the fuck is the word for that? Um, it's like, you know, when you're bullshitting about something, but it's really, you're fake bullshitting, you're really not, like, 
you know it, but you don't, but you're pretending you do. I forgot the word, it doesn't matter. You know, I've had my brains fucking scrambled today, you know, uh, with this shit, you know. And ultimately, the fucking truth of the matter is, okay, are pretty much all relationship fucking fights, misunderstandings, whatever, uh, breakups, divorces, You know what? Just realized before I finish that saying that I don't want to talk about it no more. That topic no more. I did a little bit, got it out of me. Okay, it's one of the things bothered me today a little bit. But you know, I've been trying real hard, even when I'm getting fucked with and pressures on and shit, and I get disrespected or something. I try hard, I try hard to still not fucking lose it and do the wrong thing. But what happens, as always with me, if I just lose it a little bit, 5% lose it, it comes out like Godzilla to fucking regular normal people. You know, I was in a good mood, you know? But see, see, you know what? You really can look for it's good and bad and everything, and there's also good tests and stuff in there if you can get your fucking ego out of the way and look at it. But like what I was saying before, all those relationships are the bad things happen to it, and people get all fucked up and, and like really depressed and everything. It's really horrible, but and some people get over it quicker. And that, and but where I'm getting to is. Uh, the real truth of the matter is any kind of argument, little, huge, and it's over. And one can let it go, kind of, and the other can't really. Well, and you start having this horribleness in your head with this person, they left you whatever, and you're beating yourself up to death over it. And you're cursing them, and they're the villain, and all this, and even they did something bad to you. Still, the truth of the matter is, and I have to accept this still too, because I still, they didn't do anything to you. She didn't do anything to me by really, not by not keeping me informed with the fucking flight and shit. And letting me know really when they're getting, she's getting down and all that. And I, you know, but the level of anger and stuff I could get over stuff like that not good. I shouldn't do it. And what that is, that that's not her. That's me doing it to me. See, none of the boyfriends or girlfriends or any of that stuff that freak up and hurt you or leave you or do all that. Yeah, they do. And then it's done and it's over. It's really the person, us, who sits there and ruminates it and keeps fucking doing it and thinking about it and living and doing it. That's not their fault. They're not making you do that. They may have fucked you over, but you know, they're, you know, you can just, you know, I don't know why I'm, I'm philosophizing on all this stuff, but it's true. It's, it is true though. A lot of my little anguishes I still have in life um, come from, you know, relationship, uh, <sighs> understandings or something, you know? And I, I, I'm a good guy. I do good and right. How you treat me. No. But, uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, but when something hurts sometimes, you know, you got to say something about it. Or I do. It's stupid to get it and not say it about it. I don't know, you know. Uh. You know, I overreact, stuff like that. But again, I believe the bigger uh, information in that whole riddle is not so much the problem and not even so much how you reacted or they reacted. I think the real fucking meat of it is letting it go. 
learning to be able to let this shit fucking go and move on. Like I said, some people are natural at it. I think most females are fucking born built in with fucking a uh, let it go no problem fucking gene or something. You know, because they just, you know, they have no, just the vicious, most horrifying, terrifying, cruel creatures in the, that I've ever possibly encountered with a female. Um, yeah, so all this stuff makes sense, you know, and it's true. But as usual, with hard stuff, for hard stuff, topics and things it's fucking hard to do you know me i know i have a problem with letting shit go i've always had a problem with letting shit go luckily i'm just i've been starting to be aware of it and do it but before that i didn't even it was just part of, i let, never let fucking nothing go you know stupid but in a way it's just it's, it's still hard for me but i've gotta get it and get it and do it and practice it because again that's not them you can't blame them if they let it go and they move on and they're over you can't go what the fuck are you over that for you because i've evolved you know whatever so again it hurts sometimes it's a good smack to the fucking ego but hey i'm current coming to learn to love that when it happens because i can't stand the fucking ego and i can't beat it fucking down don't like it. Everything about it is always trouble for me. Uh, so that's that, you know. So I did make a fairly uh, idiot of myself a little bit, you know. And I just missed it by a little bit of time, too. Whatever, that's how my fucking luck goes, you know. Ten more minutes, it would have been a different fucking conversation. But it isn't, and this is me having to let it go. And it's gone. Speaking of that, uh, I'll be getting some uh, interesting uh, pointers or something tomorrow. I'm gonna go tomorrow for my first uh, therapy. Uh, you know, psychotherapy, talking therapy, one-on-one -on -one real person because they, they tried to do it with the virtual. And I have it, has an iPhone do it, but it just never hooks up. They don't, I don't, or maybe they don't want to do it like that with me and they, they want me to be in person for some reason. But it's all right, I think that's better, you know. Uh, so I'm doing that tomorrow. I got that at 11.30 tomorrow. Yeah, that's going to be wild. Uh, I am very familiar with those things and those intakes, you know. Doing them since I was like 22 or something, three. But I recognize I do. I do need therapy, not like muscle therapy and shit, like talking therapy. To help, you know, because I just don't I fucking uh, get frustrated and just all of it, you know. But I'm, I have no problem saying that. I have it, you know. I need to go. I'm gonna go and hopefully it'll help. You know, I'm pretty sure it will. It's already helping. It's giving me something to, uh, you know, look forward to tomorrow. So, also now with that, wow, I really got to get on my own fucking self with time. But I'm not really a morning person anymore, so I got to be there at 11.30. I've been staying up every single fucking night this week till after 5 in the morning. I don't really fully know why. I have an idea, but I don't think so. Oh, not all the way, but I'm just sometimes uh, things are just nuts, you know, and then they come down again. But uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I'm getting a little, I'm, getting, I'm feeling some of the venom getting out of me a little bit, and um, I still feel like banging my head on the fucking wall a little bit, you know. I feel like, uh, You know what? No, I don't. I don't feel like that. I, I gotta stop saying that shit where I'm at. Cause that's just what. That doesn't make you get calmer. <laughs> oh, just you know. And then sometimes when things start fucking up and, and collapsing in front of you, 
and then things are going bad and all over the place. And you know it, you know, and you know it, and you don't want it to, and you're like, fuck, no, I don't mean that. Oh, shit, you know. Ugh. It's good with the bad, I guess, you know. Wow. Well, you know what, well, now I'm going to cut this short because, uh, you know, I want to keep doing the right thing, you know, even when I'm fucking pissed. I want to be on time for the fucking therapy tomorrow. I want to, uh, try to get some sleep, you know, a couple of hours or something, you know. Maybe wake up tomorrow and have a better fucking day. And, um, you know, this may be all this Charlie Brown shit, Murphy's Law. We'll stop fucking giving me a break, too. That would be cool. I don't like being wound up all the time like this sometimes. But fucking, it happens, you know? It fucking happens, man. And nobody fucking fucking knows or understands right and they don't have to i don't want to but don't fucking judge either i think he's gonna stop now thank you